Hello everybody, my name is Mohamed Prasad Benania. I am a keynote speaker in the areas of leadership, finance and technology. And today I'm here to share a little bit about uh, some of the things that I have been uh, seeing lately. Um, I have been coaching clients for many, many years and uh, especially in business coaching. And uh, one of the key things that I found is uh, problems with debts. Now, uh, this is going to be a very short video and I'm not going to explain everything in, in, in a very comprehensive manner. But the first thing and, and the most common thing that I see is that many of uh, how you say our clients are in debt and they usually end up in the CITOS list. Now, one of the biggest advice and one of the best advice that I can give you is that if you have already ended up in the CITOS list, uh, first of all, go get help from agency counseling. Uh, agency uh, counseling pengurusan kewangan AKPK now get the advice i know it's already uh, sometimes people feel embarrassed and uh, humiliated uh, to go talk to other people about their financial problems but you know when you're drowning and someone hands you a rope to save you there's no point in saying that you're humiliated and therefore you're embarrassed and therefore you don't want to take uh, take their uh, help so that is one of the uh, first advice that i'll give you and the other cases that i see is uh, people getting involved with alums or illegal money lenders now this is this is very key advice number one it's better for you to go to akpk it's better for you to be on the CITOS list compared to be in an alums debt list right your life gets destroyed a lot of problems follow i have seen many many cases of clients that resort to alums as opposed to resorting to more legal means of uh, getting out of debt now in terms of alum um, my Again, uh, the biggest uh, how you say advice that I can give you is again go to agency counseling. Now, if you can't, uh, and and of course seek advice from Persatuan Pengguna Islam Malaysia (PPIM). Now, I know these are hard times. I know businesses are actually trying to struggle to stay afloat. But the most important thing for you to do right now is essentially get help. Do not be embarrassed. Do not be humiliated. Do not feel that you will be ostracized just because you have financial problems. We understand. I mean, uh, the agencies understand. And I have been getting a lot of clients that are in this kind of problems as well. I'm not a certified financial advisor, but this is essentially what advice that I give to most of my clients. Now, uh, one of the other things that I would uh, definitely encourage everyone to look at that if you are already in very much debt, right, do not be embarrassed to go back. I mean, if you're in business and you're already in debt uh, and, 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 uh, and you want to get out of debt, it's, there is nothing wrong going back and working for somebody else. There's not, absolutely nothing wrong. You do not have to be embarrassed. You do not have to feel humiliated, right? This is an essentially... Uh, trying to get you out of debt itself. You can always go back to business and follow your passion in the future, right? But try not to end up in CITOS, get out of your debt. If you need to go find a, find, a, find a job for you to pay off those debts, go find a job, right? And if you need to diversify, in, in, in another sense, of course, if you need to diversify your, uh, how you say, uh, your, your income, you know, for right now, if your business is only concentrating on transport and you, uh, and, and transport is not doing very well because of the border closure and whatnot. Maybe you need to diversify into other areas of income. Get your income out. You know, it's it's not, uh, it, there's nothing wrong in trying different methods, right? And this is, a, this is the final advice that I'll give you is that you need to make sure. Now, this is a very big lesson that all my clients, including myself, learned. You need to get multiple streams of revenue making sure that you get revenue from uh, one part of business and then revenue from investments revenue from uh, different types of businesses as well don't put all your business uh, all your cash into one particular business so this is this is a very short advice of course it's not comprehensive right but now, now the most important thing if you want to take away from this uh, video is that number one if you're in debt CITOS and whatnot right get help from agency counseling pengurusan kewangan AKPK and then if you're in along debt 
go to AKPK as well, go to PPIM, tell them the entire story. Right, tell them the entire story. Do not uh, be humiliated. I mean, do not feel humiliated. Do not feel embarrassed. We're not here. To, I mean, all these agencies are not here to judge you. Right. I mean, uh, they're here to help you. Right. So please do. Do not be embarrassed. Do not feel humiliated. Right. This is an opportunity for you to repair your uh, financial status. Now, uh, this is an opportunity. Uh, I hope people who are listening to this will take this. Uh, will heed this advice. And, uh, and and get out of their financial problems. Thank you very much. See you.